welcome to another vlog. Today I am going to the beach in Toronto Island. We're just meeting up with a couple of friends. My friend Clarice, I'm actually going with her friends. Basically, we want to play spike ball today. If you guys didn't know, I just like hate working out. Like I cannot bother with working out. I just don't like moving when there seemingly is not a purpose. Like, you know what I mean? When you're running and it's like, why are you running? Is someone chasing you? Are you chasing after somebody? Why are you running? Why are you running? I just don't see the purpose of running, lifting things. Like, why? Anyway. That's my little rant. I personally like working out when you're doing something fun like volleyball or spike ball or whatever. I think the closest thing to me like working out aimlessly, besides me actually doing it now because like, you know, health and body, the one that I actually genuinely enjoy is probably biking. Like I actually love biking, but otherwise I really try to like get out there and move. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that me and my friends are so competitive or actually not really. They're competitive, but I'm really not competitive. But we like track our activities on our Apple watches. So I'm usually always last place because like I said, I don't own a Peloton and all my friends like own a Peloton and they all bike and they all work out and they all go on five walks like a day. It's crazy, but it's actually motivated me to want to move a little bit more. I'm just trying to, you know, do more exercises that I enjoy. Example, spike ball. Also, did you guys know that spike ball is not an option on the Apple watch, which is but Bizarre because I'm just like, spike ball is now an actual sport, okay? There's an actual tournament for this. I don't know. Apple needs to get on that shit. That's my little rant. I'm gonna bring you guys along and show you guys Center Island or Toronto Island. If you guys are not from Toronto, it's basically this like little island off of Toronto. It's an island off of Toronto. Basically, you have to take like a water taxi or like a ferry there. So yeah, I'm excited to show you guys, especially those who are watching from outside of Ontario. There is a little bit of nature. Okay, we are flat, but there is nature. Yeah, see you guys in a second. We are currently on the water taxi. This is Clarice. I already introduced you. This is everybody else. We are going to Center Island. We are at Center Island. This is so nice. Of course I miss like the main nice part of the walk, which was that bridge, but okay, whatever. My water bottle leaked. And as you can see, there's a whole ass ocean in here. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Great. Do you hear it? <laughs> Do you want to help me dump this yeah, out? Okay, okay, ready? <laughs> oh my god. Good thing we brought another water bottle. Jeez. This one needs to like dry in the sun. And if it catches on fire, so be it. <laughs> YOLO. So the day is over and we just played spike ball all day. We lost how many games? I don't even want to know. Kind of won. We won like three. But also, what a small world. Of course this would happen only when I'm with Clarice. I literally ran into two people who knows everybody else. Do you want to say hi? Yeah, I'm not sure. This is this is going on YouTube. <laughs> I met Trin here, who is Colleen's cousin's cousin, so second cousin. Second cousin, you got it. Like, and also I keep meeting Colleen's cousins like without Colleen. Oh, I think I met like three in total now. We got like thirty up in Ottawa and Toronto. This is the lineup for the ferry. It is never ending. So if you are planning to come here, I don't know, I personally like the water taxi route. I mean, there's still a long line, but for two more bucks, there is a shorter line, which, you know, why not, right? I don't know. So our day in Center Island is over and now we are at Young and Shepherd area and we're gonna get some Korean barbecue. Guess who I met today? So I met Quartermain. Say hi. hi. I recognized his name because it's 
not common. And I was like, wait, were you on a clubhouse room? It was actually our first clubhouse, it was. actually. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I thought he was like from Vancouver this whole time because the clubhouse was like all Vancouver people. But turns out he lives here, yay. And you actually live really close to me. Yeah. Like really, close. really close. We are going to Pujigon, which I've, I've actually been. Hello guys, welcome to another day. So today is Monday and as I promised you guys, I would kind of cover the car accident that I was in. Just to clarify, I was not in the car. My car was parked and I was hit again. I was parked in a driveway and someone that was supposed to park behind me, instead of pressing on the brake, they pressed on the gas and literally blew right through my car and the car next door and also into their garage. So it was pretty, pretty Pretty bad my car is kind of like really damaged now well I guess it's all like paint stuff but anyway so that's kind of what I've been dealing with so it's kind of set me back a lot in terms of work but that's fine we're gonna deal with it like I said I think I've shared my whole philosophy on a bad day I feel like I'm kind of grateful in a sense because I feel like you know whenever I have a bad day I feel like I've hit my quota for a little bit so I'm like what could happen to me now you know I mean it's not really a logical way of thinking but it's just the way I think also, I just feel like every time I have a bad day, it makes me more grateful for the good days and also it makes me grateful for all of the really terrible days I have had in the past in a toxic relationship. And then I look at this bad day and I'm like, honestly, I would have killed to have this. I don't feel that bad anymore. So it's all about perspective, people. I even got to know the person who hit my car. Yeah, we got talking for a couple hours, which is, I don't know if that's common, but whatever. I just tend to socialize a lot. So today I am finally gonna do the clothing sale. I feel like just for efficiency, I can't post on both platforms. So I will probably just post on Poshmark because like I said, like when I post on Instagram between me and the buyer, one of us has to pay for shipping. So I usually, you know, ask you guys to pay for like 15 flat and I'll cover whatever is like beyond. To give you guys an idea, I don't know in the States if this is just as expensive, but in Canada for me to ship to the the same city, okay, or like within the GTA, so like from Toronto to Scarborough. I remember I shipped this one silk camisole, which weighs nothing, and I use like poly mailer, so it's literally like this small. It would be like $15 to ship within Ontario. So you can only imagine if you order like a pair of pants and you live in like Vancouver, how much that would be. So that's why I wanted to try Poshmark because Poshmark has a flat shipping rate, but it doesn't depend on weight. So you can buy more than one item and I can ship them all at once and it just seems better. And also I do have a code. So if you use getaway, you actually get 15 $15, which basically will just cover your shipping. So, you know, why not? So let's try to use that and I'll probably put everything on Poshmark. But if you're reading this or watching this, I don't know where I would have been in this clothing sale episode. So make sure you just follow me and I'll just try to post things as regularly as possible or you can shop whatever is left over. Also, oh my God, I wanted to share that I got these like butt out. So I got these buttons from Amazon. Okay, I haven't opened this. So I'm gonna do this for the first time. Oh, there we go. I don't know why I was scared. So these have like little pins on them. If you can see, like they have these pins. Essentially, it's for poking a hole in your pants if they got too big. I bought these because I had a few pairs of pants that like got a little too big and I'm just gonna poke a hole through them and then, you know, they're gonna be my new buttons and stuff like that. So hopefully that works well. If you guys ever wanna explore my favorite Amazon products, I actually do have a storefront. So a lot of the products that, you know, people ask me about, it's already there for my favorite Amazon stuff and then you guys can see what is on there and shop my storefront. I'll leave a link down below and you guys can check that out. I will leave this as a link down below as well. We are here. Wow, I should come back here to take pictures. It's so nice. My table is just right there. Okay. Guys, this place is so nice. Why do I feel like I'm in New York right now? <laughs> I've only been there twice too, so I'm like not even sure. Cheers, guys. The drinks are so pretty. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> this looks so good. And then last one. Should I also get the pasta? <laughs> Hi. 
I was about to say, hey guys, welcome to another day, but just another casual day in Toronto where there's literally a crazy lady. She's in the middle of the road, just literally yelling. I don't know if you guys were able to hear her. That was insane. She was like in the middle of the intersection. But anyway, hi guys. Welcome to another day on the vlog. Basically, today is Friday and I am currently on my way to meet up with Liz. We are actually going to go to Figo for, or Figo, I don't really know how you pronounce it, Figo for, I don't really know what's going on because it's actually starting to rain. This entire week in Toronto is raining, which is terrible because it's also Helen's last week. So we have so much, so much, so much planned. I'm just really hoping that the rain goes away. The weather is obviously super unreliable, so we really don't know what's going to go on. So another life update is I actually just booked my flights back to Vancouver. Hear me out. So this is what's happening. In the first week of August, I actually have a wedding. I think I might have mentioned this already. The wedding is in Banff and it should have happened in 2020 in August, but obviously we all know what a shit show 2020 was. So the wedding got postponed exactly one year later. So we're gonna do this again or try to do this again in August of 2021. So far, it hasn't been canceled or anything. So everyone has already booked their flights, like our entire friend group. It's one of our friends that's getting married and it's in the first week of August. Since it is all the way in Banff, I was actually gonna just book my flight to Banff but then my parents wanted to visit my brother if you guys didn't know my brother lives in Fernie BC which is basically just three hours away from Banff and because of my Invisaligns I actually need to go for a checkup because they called me and they told me that they need to put another attachment into my teeth because they need to like stretch out one of the elastics to fix my crossbite because of that I actually booked my flight to Vancouver Vancouver instead. I'm gonna be there only for six days. Then my parents and I are gonna make the drive all the way to Fernie to see my brother. And then from there, I'm gonna drive to Banff for the wedding. So that is why I'm going back to Vancouver. But really the purpose is to go to Banff and I guess for my Invisaligns. That is what's happening. And I just booked my flights and I feel like I'm very excited for this. I guess like this is really the first leisure travel that I will be doing because the last time I went to Vancouver, it was more of, I don't really consider consider that leisure traveling because like I don't know it's kind of still home for me so I'm really excited to go back to Vancouver for such a short amount of time and then go to Banff because I've actually never been to Banff in my adult life so this is going to be really exciting and I can't wait to take all the fabulous pictures of Banff it just looks so wonderful and I've been trying to go for so many years but that is the update on my life so far I literally have short-term memory I can't remember if I like spoke much about the accident I don't know if the accident was kind of like a catalyst to everything but this entire week like I said I would try to keep it as real for you guys as much as possible I have honestly just been so emotionally down like I just honestly feel so crappy the last few weeks like mentally unwell like I feel like I haven't really been good at responding to my friends even on Instagram I just have been really checked out and I just don't feel that great to be honest I also don't know if it's because it's mercury retrograde i don't know if anyone who is watching this believes in astrology lately i have been super into astrology spirituality etc is that a random robot that is just there's literally like a random robot that's moving on its own sorry i was about to show you guys and then the light turned green so i can't what the heck? There's like a little random robot. Okay, anyway, sorry, I clearly have ADHD. I've just been really into like astrology and spirituality. And it's really funny because I have a friend, her name is Taddy. I will leave her like username. She is an astrologer. She read my birth chart. We've been going on weekly walks and she's just kind of been educating me more on astrology. When I told her that the accident had happened, she literally guessed the exact date that it happened because she was telling me i forgot the actual like term for it but she was just like yeah that day was just kind of like a bad day for everybody type of thing and it was supposed to be like impacting the home or whatever so i am not surprised that that happened because the accident as you guys know if you guys have watched earlier in the video the car actually crashed into somebody's home as well like it wasn't just my car and the other car but she crashed two cars and a house i'm not very surprised at that 
happened. But anyway, I am going to Figo and then after that, I'm gonna try to go to Aritzia to return some stuff. I'm also hoping to do an Aritzia haul. It's not that big to be honest. So it's probably just gonna be a summer haul. Yeah, it's just like all the stuff that I bought during clientele minus the things I'm returning today because I'm not gonna keep it. Stay tuned for that haul and make sure you subscribe to watch that as well. Okay, I'm finally with Liz. So we are going to Figo and it's Friday at 2 p.m. So I guess like not a lot of people are <laughs> out yet. And rainy. it's also rainy, yeah. <laughs> we're it's like, so gross right now. Look, this is how gross it is. Still worth it. I'm excited. Yeah. We are finally here. So this is the restaurant. The inside is also so pretty. Not like anyone can sit inside right now, but look. This is Fido. Even the patio outside is so cute. This is Liz is a first patio with real food, she says. I'm so oh my god, yay! Wow! Oh my god, I love this dish. This is the zucchini free. It's amazing. Creme fresh honey, black pepper, with a little lemon zest. Nice. And then the stellar wild boar oh. ragu bucatini. Oh, yum. yum! Thank you so much. We are currently lining up for Aritzia on Queen Street. This is the lineup for Aritzia and we've already moved like one foot. <laughs> Not a lot. The sales associate comes out and he had an umbrella and he's like, does anyone need umbrellas? Damn, this like premium customer service. But anyway, yeah, this is where we are. This is Queen Street. There's like lineups on lineups too. I just don't understand because we're actually here during work hours because neither of us have jobs. So what's everyone else's reasons? <laughs> Hello guys. Okay, so I am home now. I actually have been home for a while. I've just literally been, like I said, I just have not been having a great week so far. And I feel like this weather in Toronto has only depressed me more because I drove to the restaurant earlier when I was there. And just like now being in my car, I honestly get like really depressed because I see the damage and I'm just like waiting for insurance. If you guys are wondering why I'm like, I don't know, like extra depressed, I guess. It's just honestly because for me, like I know it's not a big deal and I'm really trying to be optimistic about it and I'm glad I wasn't in the car and I'm grateful for all of those things and I know that everything happens for a reason, but it doesn't help that I still feel like it's still like a hassle and now it's just really put a dent into a lot of my plans. Maybe it's teaching me to be a little bit more of a flexible person, but I feel like I'm already kind of flexible. Like I'm a pretty easygoing person sometimes. I don't know, maybe, maybe I can be more easygoing. Anyway, it's also a little bit harder because my insurance is with ICBC, which is back in BC. And if you're wondering why I haven't switched yet, it's because a week before I got here or like two weeks before I got here, here, someone hit my door parked once again so I've just been dealing with that claim so when I got here I like was hesitant on switching until that claim was like dealt with and then before I even had a chance to finish dealing with claim number one I got claim number two where this incident happened even the ICBC girls like seriously like this close together and I'm like I'm telling you Lisa luck but anyway I am also just sitting here right now sorting through some beauty products. So this is kind of like behind the scenes. If you guys watch my monthly favorites, I actually take time of each month and just sit here to kind of like figure out what products I'm gonna try for the next month. So I try to pick one from each category and I feel like if you guys watch my videos, you guys know that because I tried so many products, sometimes it's hard to isolate which product does what, but I actually do take the time throughout the month to figure out what's wrong. So for example, very early on in this month, I was trying this toner, which if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I like shared this like burn or something. So I quickly realized that I think it was like the frequency in which I use that toner. So I realized it was a toner because of one of the ingredients. There's also this moisturizer I've been using this month where it caused my skin to flake when I was like putting on my makeup. I have a pretty good sense, but at the same time, obviously take my recommendations with kind of a grain of salt because most of the time it's like how I feel when I put it on and I can generally kind of tell like if it's generally good, but also because everyone has super different skin types. I have this like, just 
disclaimer i used to do it all the time in the beginning of each video is like still do your research still check if it's like suitable for your skin because what works for my skin might not work for yours i do like kind of figure out if something does go wrong and then then i won't recommend the product at the end of the month and it won't make it into the video so i'm currently just like kind of selecting the products for the month of july and i'm also wearing this shirt from aritzia i can't tell if i want to keep it to be honest so i still have the price tag on which there you go yeah i'm just like trying to figure out if i want to keep this shirt because i don't know probably not if i feel like this i'm like i don't know oh my god i am late okay so i have to go to another dinner now i'm going to mamaka's with helen liz and steph not the same liz it is going to be my first time at mamaka's so i will show you guys around it's also still super rainy so also as you can see my house is a mess because i am trying to also start prepping for my clothing sale which i've now taken all the pictures i just have to upload it on poshmark that is what's going on i'm sorry if this vlog is not as exciting because honestly i'm having a really shitty week okay i don't know just trying to keep it real hope you guys are having a good week though despite mercury retrograde i will talk to you guys later hi to the vlog on my phone we are at mamaka's and wow this is actually really good quality on the phone I feel like what are you guys getting this looks really good they all sound really good our They're drinks really are here I know, I know. I know. all about the same thing <laughs> wow it's like on one side. This is so cool. All right, cheers, okay. guys. Cheers. cheers. Helen's potential last patio. We got lamb chops, some potatoes, and calamari. Yeah. Ooh, even chicken. Wow, this is so romantic. Okay guys, I am about to eat lamb and I don't eat lamb or like lamb. Nope. What looks like a romantic, nice candlelit dinner. <laughs> he doesn't have to know. Hello guys, welcome to another day. So today is Sunday and me, Steph, and Helen are actually going to Margot's farm, which is, I don't even know. I think it's in Alistair, Ontario, technically. So it's like about an hour and a half drive, kind of far, but we're just gonna go to enjoy her pool and then we're just gonna spend the day there and then we're gonna come back. And the girls are here. Hello. Hi. Say hi. We just got here, say hi. Everyone already said hi, but Hello. yay. Hi, okay, we are enjoying Margot's pool. Her farm is so nice. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> say hi to Biden. <laughs> say hi. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Lunch time. Apparently these are really good. This is my first time. <laughs> so our Sunday fun day is done. We are currently at Sherway Gardens. We're just charging the car and meanwhile we need to grab dinner. So we're gonna literally try every single possible location. Look at the valet station, damn. And then look at the Joey's. The Joey's here is really nice too. So we ended up in McDonald's because basically everything is like such a long wait it's at Sherway Gardens and also or it's like a 30 minute walk from Sherway Gardens but we're charging the car so we can't even like drive there. But yeah, that's what's happening right now and we're at McDonald's. Low-key so happy and we all get to sit together. I got junior chicken, chicken nuggets, large fries drink a lot of extra sauces this is where i gain all my weight honestly <laughs> 